This is an art attack? This is an art attack? This is... It's important to get away. It doesn't have to be for a year. Not even a weekend. Just a, just a day. See, I believe that there's more of this rainy, racist, grey island and I'll uncover it. I'll go somewhere nice. Inside or out, I'll go camping. I'll think about all the art the artists make and all the infrastructures that the workers have built. N not just for around the world, but here. He he here. This rainy, racist, grey island. I'll go camping. I'll get away for all fucking noise. Can you hear that? I guess it. tranquility and then a fucking family decided to camp right up next to me. Alright, it's time to set up. And my peace and tranquility has also been spoiled by this wee guy here. Boop, 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 boop. He's chatty. Difficult to discuss art without that wee annoying voice that annoys us all diving in and saying you're a fucking bun you're a fucking bun and it's a sin because art is a voice for somewhere else that you control and, and how cool is that if for instance your instincts say I shouldn't talk about love You've had a bad time, Ali. Art's always there to articulate your deepest emotions. Art is validation. Art is protection. I'll create an outdoors installation. And it will be used for my protection. It will protect my stuff while I'm away. I'll go somewhere where I can see somebody else's art. Perfect. Maybe no art. <laughs> Near a wee train. But it's nostalgia. Uh, and, and that's that's fine. I mean, I'm maybe no into soldiers and cars and all these spooky wee bastards. But, you know, there's always something to find. No matter where you are. You go, oh, there you are. There they are. Oh, and there he is. This is like a wee cuddle for the Ah, I thought I had them. I had all them. And there's my da. And there's a scary lady, Fifi, who gave me nightmares. It's my chin too. Oh, it's my chin. But all good things, as they say, come to an end. And just as I was enjoying my trip down memory lane, somebody else's memory started to Stealing the covers. They were just sitting there, right amongst the brave stars and cindies, behind wee dusty windies. This is not fine, lads. It was pish then, and it's pish now. And guess what? I couldn't even do this without guess what happening. Yep. Fucking hate. She was a Tory, and it's time for all that lot to be miserable. Cause I've been miserable enough. 
Are you one of those people who spends all day dreaming about your, um, <clears throat> Valentine? You know what you need? A heartthrob. And here it is. Watch this. So this time we are talking about art, I guess. Um, and I've been asking myself, what is art? Um, is it video games? Is it films and movies? Um, is it paintings, uh, drawings and stuff? And I guess I've come to the conclusion that, yeah, that is, that's, that's all, all that is art. Um, some people, I think, thinks that good art costs uh, a lot of money. Uh, and I recently uh, acquired something that will end up costing me around 3,000 euros. It's not this piece. Owen actually made this. That's me and my girlfriend, Fia, uh, in Dublin, me eating tobacco and pouring wine all over myself. It's very accurate. Uh, but I'll show you this. <laughs> uh, so, I have... Where the fuck are my keys? Um, I had uh, to pay 3000 for something that I did. Uh, it's outside here. Um, I'm going to show you now. Put the light on. There we go. Here we go. Apparently, I made this when I came home from God knows where, high on God knows what, because I don't really remember doing this, but my landlord thought that this is worth 3,000 euros that I have to pay to get the whole hallway repainted. You look at it. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck did I do? In 2009 I went to London, apparently on a mission to take the world's most worthless out of focus photograph. Here's a chipper that sort of uses the Star Wars logo. Pre-Disney days of course, they'd probably all be in prison now. There's the Gherkin building in the um in the back in the distance they this should really be on a postcard. James Bond's house, subtle as always. Oh, do you remember these? Um, Super Sir, the heater with a wood panel finish. Uh, oh, and here we go. Uh, very nice. I, I like. I like the heart. She died. Did you know that? Yeah. They made sure of that. <laughs> and there's me. <laughs> Oh God, what a horrible top I've got on. I, um, yeah, I should probably bin that. Anyway, I went to the Tate Modern Art Gallery and there was a guy there sneering so hard at everything. His cheeks almost ended up in Colchester. Lots of, well, that's not real art. My six year old could do that. You know, all the classics. And look, I'm sure there are plenty of bull merchants and piss mongers, but at least, at least when you go to a modern art museum, you don't know what you're going to see, which has got to be worth something, right? Oh, but I know that's not art because I don't want it in me house next to me fucking lost DVDs. Go to a traditional gallery full of real art and tell me you're not bored after 10 minutes. A painting of a house in the middle of a field. Take a fucking photo, you bozo. 
This has me wondering what's actually in the Tate Gallery at the moment. Let's take a look. We'll look up the Turner Prize. We'll see what, what the best stuff is like now. Ah, see now, that looks quite fun. Yeah. There you go now, a suit that looks like a brick wall. At last. All right. Okay. What's next? Total garbage, sorry. And this is me being positive. <sighs> I'm all for being open-minded, but manners are free, you know? There's just no need... <sighs> Forget it. So, that's all my holiday money gone. Uh, so I guess I'm not going uh, to Italy that I was planning to. I mean, look at this shit. I must have been so fucked up. Why did I do this? I mean, it's just... <laughs> look at it. Hello everyone, Mike Gallagher here, back in the studio for Volume 4 of the Pleasureland uh, 20th Anniversary Collection. Uh, we'll be doing commentaries for, well, t well pretty much uh, everything, so just... Uh, Look forward to that in the future and uh, this shelf life video actually was one of the weaker ones in my opinion uh, I think it's just pretty obvious I mean this segment didn't make it in despite this being Gavin's last contribution obviously we don't need to go into what happened to him it's public record it's grisly stuff but from production notes he wasn't exactly happy with it and that's something we see a lot of in this type of work you know trying to sound like you know something about art without coming across as pompous and, and while still trying to be funny still trying to be interesting and while most of these videos stick the landing uh, this one really was a stink uh, no jokes uh, just aimless just didn't know what it wanted to be uh, pretentious uh, absolutely yes uh, the lesson here is you can't make art simply by being around it uh, poor insights shoddy slapdash execution it really just was the pits I mean how can you have the gall to really just walk around these public places saying what he was saying it's, it's honestly the I mean, the sound's off for you at home, but uh, trust me, I'm doing you a favour. Uh, you know, talking to statues and the like, it's so gauche, it's so uninspired, it really makes you wonder what was going through his mind. And obviously, Kelvin Grove isn't even there anymore, so this really is an ill-fitting tribute to the place. Uh, I mean, I know the point was to shoot Shelf Life content on the smartphones they all used back then, but uh, I've really seen better camera work on a broke dick dog. I mean, what did, it, what did, he, what did he actually expect you know it's, it's fucking useless and, and he's fat i probably i thought i was some sort of a artist and decided yeah the hallway needs some art and yeah i did this uh my girlfriend very pissed off very very pissed off i mean she has to walk out every morning and this is staring at her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So maybe the conclusion is that everything can be art. You just don't want to end up paying for your own.